In this video, I will be demonstrating different ways to access the cropping editor, how to use the editor to crop pages, and various settings related to cropping. With a song loaded, the first step is to tap the center of the screen to bring up the song overlay, tap the display options icon at the bottom left corner, and then tap on crop. In the cropping editor, you will see white circles displayed on the sides and corners of the page. As these circles are moved, a cropping rectangle is resized that shows which parts of the page will be displayed and which parts will be removed. The parts of the page that will be removed are colored dark gray, making it easy to know what the crop page will look like. With the default settings, each page must be cropped independently. To automatically crop the displayed page, tap the Auto Crop option at the top of the screen. Mobile Sheets will remove as much of the margins on each page as possible without removing any non-white parts of the page. In order to change which pages are impacted by changes to the cropping rectangle, first tap the Settings action at the top of the screen to display the cropping settings. Depending on your tablet size, the Settings option may be placed under the Overflow menu. On the Settings dialog, there is a drop-down for the current cropping mode. If the setting is changed to All Pages in Selected File, then multiple pages can be cropped simultaneously, whether using manual cropping or the automatic cropping feature. Cropping all of the pages at once works well if each page has the same margins. The checkbox for the aggressive cropping will change the behavior of the automatic cropping feature so that it will try to remove more of the margins without removing important content on the page. If you have scanned pages and the background is not perfectly white, this setting may help with the removal of the margins. The last thing that should be mentioned is the difference between the clear and reset options at the top of the editor. Tapping on the Reset action will reset the cropping rectangle to its initial state when the editor was loaded. This can be useful to revert accidental or undesired changes. Tapping the Clear action will remove all cropping on all pages of the current song. The second way to access the cropping editor is through the Song Editor. With a song loaded, tap the pencil icon in the top left corner of the song overlay to enter the song editor, and then switch to the Files tab. Then click on the crop icon in the lower right corner of the displayed page. Once you have edited the cropping for the song, tap OK to save the changes, and you will return to the song editor. There are also icons in the song editor to automatically crop pages in the selected file and to reset the cropping. These are convenient shortcuts if manual modifications are not needed in the cropping editor. If you tap the Settings action at the top of the Song Editor, you can change what pages the cropping applies to, and enable or disable the auto-crop of imported files, and the Aggressively Crop feature. Cropping is an extremely useful tool in mobile sheets, and it is the most efficient way to enlarge pages. Cropping a file does not modify it in any way, so it is perfectly safe to crop and uncrop pages as needed. It can even be combined with the page order feature to crop each instance of a page differently. If you want to maximize the size of the pages displayed on your device, definitely consider cropping your files. Thank you for watching. To find more tutorial videos, click the links below or visit www.zubersoft.com. There are videos covering both basic features in mobile sheets, as well as more advanced topics like MIDI.